Hey YouTube, uh, this is going to be a weird, I have no idea how long this video is going to be or what it's going to be like. Uh, if you know me, you probably know I pretty much hated this before I even had a shot and I kind of didn't want a shot, but my pal was like, oh you got to try the Positive Grid Spark. That's it there, uh, it doesn't, because there's a stupid handle in the lane, it doesn't sit on top of that. Um, yeah, so, I don't even like pedals on any effects at all, and this thing, I've got it, since I got a new... A new phone that actually does things. Um, it connects to the phone. So you can choose stuff. Um, yeah. So if I just turn it on. See, it's, it's like all these effects I don't like are on. On the front. You'll be able to look these things up on line anyway to see what, what the buttons do. I think I can... So if I just try to turn the delay up and... Right, okay. Cool. So the the knobs in the front are like what you get on a modelling synth where say you've got the middle knob set to 5 and then you change patch onto another patch. The, the, obviously the physical knob is still set at 5 but in the other patch, say it was last time you were on it, it was set at 1. The knob's still looking like it's at 5, but it's still at 1. So as soon as you start touching it, it'll, it'll override whatever the actual manual thing is. So that's what I just did there. Basically, to turn off the reverb, all I did was turn the reverb up a bit and then turn it until it engages and then turn it all the way back down again. So, so what I noticed with this was... Um, you'd be able to see that. Pro probably, sort of. Not really... What it's designed for. You can't really use my phone with one hand and play the guitar with the other. So you can, you can see you've got basically a, a tube screamer there and uh, if you slide up on the things it's actually moving the tone. I'll turn it on by stomping the slide. Well that's it off. So I'll try and leave it sitting there and I'll just poke, I'll just press it with my finger. So whatever it is, looking at there, it's an amp, which I don't even know what that is. What kind of amp is that? It's an AC boost. Would that be a, an AC30 maybe? Actually, it sounds much better than I thought it would. And, and uh, to change amp, you, um... Oh, oh that's it. Oh, wow, you can... You can actually... What I'm doing there is I'm actually turning the knobs on the front of the amp. I'm um, obviously doing it with your finger at a distance isn't the best way of doing it. So I can't see that's the middle. So if I turn... The middle to the middle. I'll turn the gain up. Yeah. Now you see the top here, I'm moving it along, I can go, I can move it along, go, there's a the drive pedal. So yeah. Turn that on. I don't know why we're getting a bad shading thing going on with that awesome Black Sabbath album cover. I'm trying to drive down a lot better. And then if you look at what have we got, we've got a, a comp, compressor wah. Oh, here we go. I've got lots of things on here. Oh, good. Delay. You can't do it. I'd imagine if you're mad into pedals, that's uh, an unofficial copy of a very specific delay pedal which the camera doesn't want to. So I'm assuming that's uh, I don't know. I suppose if you're going to copy one, is it one of those Strymian ones? It's like 300 quid. I assume it's got something like that. <laughs> I think 
be one of the reasons I don't like delays from listening to Tony Iommi did it and so did Brian May where they've got those de delay pedals and it's like a guitar solo being just them and the guitar whereas a guitar solo when the rest of the band playing a guitar solo where it's just someone going <laughs> It's a bit. It's not my thing. I don't like delay. What, what's that? A flanger? Okay, I know, I know what that is, I think. That's uh, very much um, the, uh, Keep Yourself Alive, a Queen one. See, I'm, I'm giving these all a massive thorough, thorough check out because I don't like pedals at all. So what else? Oh, we've only got the ones there. So how? Oh, it's up here we get a thing that says Channel Two Crunch. So if I, oh, there we go. We've got one clean with what looks like an amp. I don't know. Crunch is a what I think is probably an AC30. What's that? High gain. I don't like high gain. This is great. It's like. I also am a total idiot when it comes to using any sort of um, technology pedals and stuff like that. I like having my, my nice guitar just plugged straight into an amp. Even reverb's kind of like, I'm trying to get into reverb a wee bit. Um, right, so we're going to the, the high gain one. The reverb pedal, the delay pedal's still on, so I can turn that off. Yep. Yeah. Reverb? Is that is that on? Off. So, but the best thing about having all these effects pedals is you can turn them all off to get the sound I like. Yeah, it'll just be the same thing. So there's there's your amp, which is a plexiglass, so that'll be a Marshall then. Let's oh, get the gain up at full. That's a Marshall into Video recording, I don't want to do that. How do I go back? I just turned it off. Okay, right. Um uh, skip. No, I don't want I don't want to be I don't want to be doing any recording. Obviously this does way more than I can operate anyway. I think and no more like I can tantal. Uh, I didn't think um, a Marshall Plexi was a high gain amp. I thought high gain was like your Mesa Boogie, Mesa Boogie. Mess a boogie dual rectifier type thing. Yeah, what, what is? Yeah, hold on. Wait, what, what is? Metal. That, that, that looks a bit like a mess a boogie dual, dual rectifier, I think. And the pedals appear to be the same pedals that I saw in every one of these amps. I bet you that's not all the pedals that are in it. Um... There's so many menus. When I turned it on there, there was a thing saying, oh, nail all Jimi Hendrix's sounds, and they wanted 17 99 to do that. It's not even my app, so there's no chance I was buying it. But um, I think look, they get the, my pal, Murphy's pal, I can't remember what his actual name is, but that's what his Facebook name is, um, was saying, yeah, he was, I think you can get, like, it does crazy learning stuff. He was, he was talking about doing Zeppelin stuff, so I think you can kind of buy a, a Led Zeppelin pack where it gives you... You know, I don't know, for example, you're going to be playing... Not, not with this sound for Zeppelin, but... Uh, what, 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 yeah, I'm going to go for like a, the crunch one again. And all the effects are back on again. 
The reverb scene, you can turn it off like that. I can hear that flanger on. The compressor on. Turn the gate off as well. Huh? Yeah, so I think um, you can get like a Zeppelin pack and what it gives you is like, you know, we're going to play Communication Breakdown, so it'll give you the exact, like a, the, the exact pedal to, to get that and it you know, automatically just kind of gives you the sound of the record. And then I think it even gives you the notes to play and stuff and, um, and all these things. It's, I mean, anyone who watches my channel all the time realises that I... I don't even like modelling. Like, even the simple ones, like, you know, you get your, the wee practice amps now have got their chorus and flange, like, on, and it's too bad, I don't, I don't want that. I do actually have a wee Line 6 portable thing. Um, but I just spend a whole, any of these things, if, if I had, if I, if I get given that or I found it in a skip or I bought it, the first thing I would do would be to try and make it sound like my wee Laney, because that's the sound I want. I just want a nice wee tube amp, I don't think it really needs to be a tube amp, with, like, a, you know, a distortion pedal and a fuzz pedal in front of it. That's, it's the sound I want. I mean, I understand that some people listen to, you know, Pink Floyd and they want Dave Gilmore's guitar sound and don't. I would rather play, I'd rather play with my sound playing Dave, Dave Gilmore licks. If I wanted to play like Dave Gilmore. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I don't know to, I really feel I'm just poking away at this like an idiot because I really don't know what it is I'm doing. Um, but I'm sure it does lots of wonderful things. I know as well, it's got like a bass amp setting on it. It's actually got knobs on the top of it where you can choose, oh, glassy, whatever that is. So I don't think you need to have, you don't need to have your phone connected to it. I think you do for the special things. I mean, it was trying to record me there in it somehow. I don't know, maybe, maybe you can get lessons or something. Um, it's, it's also got more than one speaker in it as well because it, it's doing that thing that the the Black Star ID core does for a big team and it puts like the, the echoes and stuff on it. makes it sound bigger than it is. So when I'm looking at it, I know that that's the speakers there. But when you actually look at it, it sounds like it's coming from, you know, this bigger box. It's kind of it's quite, it's quite a bizarre thing. But I mean, even if that was not a model thing and it was exactly a blackface duo, oh, see, that's I mean that that's how not into technology I'm. When I changed the setting on the amp to uh, the glassy sound, the amp on my phone screen changed. Yeah, but I mean, I think even if you had me playing through, you know, not a model, that actual amp with all these pen, and you handed me a the guitar, the first thing I would do is like, hey, how do I turn off all those effects? Well, I suppose it, I would, basically what I would be doing is I would go into the delay and turn that off, and then I would go to the reverb and turn that off. And then it actually sounds like an amp I would actually quite like, yeah? drive pedal there. You all, these are all on, aren't they? Turn them all off. As long as if you just get, just get the, is that just a booster? You can handle a booster, might get a booster. If I go to the amp, can I just turn the volume? No. Quite as well gain. suppose why couldn't I like say I really like my first pedal I'm sure there's one in it but uh, I'm sure why I'm sure I could just run like if, if I've got my 
you know, if I just use that as the amp, so I'm basically just using this Fender Blackface thing and nothing else, why not? I could maybe just use my own pedal in front of it, just have, instead of the guitar going straight into the amp, I could go through a pedal first, and I'm sure it would react very similar. So, I mean, it's just that options, 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 options. There's just so many that um, I'm totally... And see when it says drive, can I... Um, Okay, I've got, I've got, I've got the booster. I'm just wondering, what does that do? Login, save setting, Apple Music, Spotify, Metronome, Help Center, About Positive Grid. I'm sure you could do all these things. Um, I don't know. Right, right. Smart Jam. Am I going to have to play? Can I, will this just play something? Right. I'm sure that I can send that to that, in fact. No, I noticed there was a there was a music volume thing. There's obviously a setting where it's giving you a... Oh it might even um See it, it might tell you it's, it's got like wee boxes there telling me that the chords just now is A minor and G and stuff. I wonder if it's a wee bit like um the Rockstar game, you know, where it's, it's red just now when you're on A minor. I wonder if you actually play it at the right time. It gives you a wee thumbs up or something. I mean, it's interesting ways to learn. Um, it's, pro it's probably not for someone like me who's been playing for 20 years and is a technophobe as it is anyway doesn't like multi-effects units, doesn't even really like effects pedals. It's totally not not my thing at all. But um, I bet you if you could knew these things, if you, could, if you knew how to use these things, it would be great fun. Bob Dylan knocking on heaven's door. So what happens if I just click on it? Do you have to pay for this? No. But how does it know? Yeah. Oh, okay, I mean fair enough. So it's playing it there. I'm sure you can you can most definitely it's just it's telling you what the chords are and it's giving you the wee bouncing ball type thing. So, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Well, fair dues to you if you think it's good. I mean, to be fair, it's like... Well, now I've actually got an amp. Now I've managed to turn off all the echo and reverb and stuff like that. I mean, the, the amp itself sounds pretty damn good. That's really not that different to what I'm, the sound my, and that was with no fidgeting at all. That's not really any different to the sound I get at Millennium or Softec, which is the sound I want. So, I mean, for me, I suppose, ultimately, you're not going to buy a £300 amp with all this interconnectivity just to do that with it. Um, so I'm totally using about a tenth of a percent of what it can do. But I mean, if I had to, if I was playing, if we were having a jam somewhere and that was the amp I was using, that's how it would be set up. I'm wondering how you, there must be a way of changing the distortion pedal to another one because it seems to give me the same pedals in each one and I'm 100% sure that there will be other ones that I can choose I mean how did there must be a, if I double tap it to give me oh there we go I ah, see clone drive tube drive rap pedal come on overdrive and I'm sure these have all got um, names that are kind of similar but because it's not licensed it won't actually be you know it's not Ibanez tube screamer it was like I can't remember what it said there it's G, just super fuzz oh Oh, it's a Jimi Hendrix one, right? And, and it's like, there you come up, you can pick Jimmy's amps and pedals and auto-tone, brand new auto-tone feature automatically switches presets for you when you jam along with your favourite Jimi Hendrix song. I bet you that might even do it for you, like see for the, if there's a quiet bit where he's strumming a bit clean and then he stops a fuzz pedal for the solo, I bet you it automatically does that when you get to it. Um, I'm not buying it for 17 though. But it's fun, isn't it? Oh, these are all GH, GH one. A fuzz face! Can I get that without having to pay for it? I can. Oh, sorry, getting messages. Um, right. Right. Um. Poke at it until it works. Well, it's there. It's in the chain. How I. How how I make it turn it down? There we go. So.
So that's what a fuzz face sounds like. Maybe my wee Delamo isn't a fuzz face sound. <laughs> Is it on? It is on. Uh, camera access denied. I don't want to do that. Stop. Stop messaging me, Sarah. Yeah, so double tap it. Gives you different pedals. Black Hawk. That's the rat, is it? Yes, it's a rat. That's a pedal I know. Yeah, but I mean... Um, to be honest, I'm just going to give it up at that because I it's it's totally not for me. And I'm, I knew I, I'm okay. I'm totally prejudiced that I kind of didn't. I didn't think I would like it. And I, regardless of how good it sounds, I, I don't really want this. I don't want to have lots of different pedals and stuff. I can understand lots of people do, and I'm not right. I'm just it's like I. I it's too much. I don't even like having I mean, the real pedals. I'm going to sell them all and just keep a couple. Keep a couple of fuzzies. Um, yeah, so... Even, I'd imagine and all of these pedals, all of these... Um, I can't even work the phone. Why is it not moving? Oh, it's even, even, it even puts the noise in. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm sure these are very well-reacting things, and I think... What you get with a lot of these, uh, you know, their sort of modelling sounds, even when they're really good, you get it's probably really, really good for recording. When it's going to sound like an album, you know, like if you were recording, if I was to record an album using, you know, my amp and a mic and stuff, I would do it in, you know, in the later on, I would be adding all the effects to make it sound like a record. Whereas that one, it just sounds like a record straight up. The problem is, it doesn't sound like a real amp anymore. That makes sense. I don't, I don't mean a, a real amp, you know, it's like kind of. I mean, that's. To be fair. There we go. What else we got? A big muff. A bass big muff. A guitar muff. So, I mean, maybe, maybe there's something to be said for just. Um, <laughs> You know, just maybe if you had a shot of this up here, I think I might get a couple of pedals, and it's like, oh, I wonder what ones I should get. I think, and and you want you wanted to be more like a my rig where you've got like a, an amp head, four by twelve cabinet, and a couple of pedals like a big muff. You could listen, work through all of these, and decide which ones you like the sound of there, and then buy the real pedal. So I mean, it's like, I suppose if you really wanted in, in the real world, like for me, if I wanted to see what hear what a big muff sounded like. I've got to buy a big muff, don't I? It actually sounds quite good, doesn't it? Like, it just suits me, I think, more like... The problem is I find it's just when you've got too many things to switch on and off, I spend more moving on its own now. Um, I spend more time fidgeting my knobs and stuff than I do actually playing and I'm not good enough in the guitar. I'm quite happy with just to give me one sound and I'll concentrate fully on trying to play the guitar. Whereas all these things, it's like a tendency to maybe spend ages. I remember going in when I was trying out for a band years ago, it was like the wee guy playing the guitar, I was playing the bass and the guy playing the guitar. I, like, I spent all night last night, you know, setting up patches in one of these floorboard multi-effects things and he couldn't really play the songs. It was playing and it was like I think they were his own songs and he basically had spent all night he hadn't spent all night practicing how to play Hendrix or whatever songs it was we were playing he spent all night getting the sound right and then he'd gone into the studio and plugged it in and he's like oh it doesn't sound as good as it did in the house last night when I had it to the computer and it's like but he could he, he was struggling he didn't know the chords for the songs it's like because he was spent the time all night fidgeting with things to get the sound he wanted but it's like I would have just played it you know 
just play the guitar and <laughs> just stick it into an amp anyway, have a, a, a boring sound, learn how to play it. And the problem is I've never done learn. I, I never really haven't learned how to play anything properly, so I, I, I never, I've not really ever got to the stage in a guitar where I go, yep, I pure nailed that song, now I can play it perfectly. I'll start messing about with all the effects. It's like I know I, 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 I've never. I, I need all the time to play it, and I've never, I've never played anything perfectly in my life, or never, never anything that I'm actually happy with. Even say, even responds like a first pedal when you turn the volume down. It kind of cleans up. I think if I was in prison, I wouldn't be in prison, but hopefully, I suppose you never really know what's going on, but, um, or you were locked, you were like, I don't know, stuck somewhere for a month or a few weeks with just a guitar and an amp on your phone, it's like, I think you could probably just learn to play the guitar pretty easily, and this whole thing about having, you know, showing up the chords on the screen and stuff, actually, I think the owner said he's got an i, an iPad it's called. The sort of thing, the thing they had in Star Trek Voyager, but they they actually copied what they had in Star Trek Voyager. That those things, um, with that you can probably it's a bigger screen for seeing the chords go past and stuff like that. I mean, amazing. It's just I think maybe it's for someone who's maybe a little bit more tech 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 savvy than I am, and somebody who can't yet play the guitar, who doesn't actually know what these things do, whereas I do know what the real thing does, and I know that. I know what reverb is, I don't know, don't want it. I know what delay does. I can sort of operate a delay pedal, but I don't want it. So, whereas this thing is just gives you absolutely everything, you know. I mean, you're just looking through there, what kind of amp is it you like? And it's like, well, there's, I don't know, 10 or 50 or 12 or many amps are in there. Whereas I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a choice of that. Go to the shop and try out the amps that are in my price range and then buy that one, you know, when I was beginning. Basically, I just want, you want, I want, I wanted a Marshall because. Why wouldn't you want a Marshall stack? But they're expensive. I'm done. I've, I've been rabbiting on for half an hour, 25 minutes. Ugh, yeah, so cheers for everyone in the, the live stream last night. I'm actually still pretty hungover, but kind of sober up now when I played my new FGN guitar. Uh, check out the review of this from the other day. This thing is amazing. I'm loving it, absolutely. I was a wee bit uh, disgusted this morning when I had, had it hanging in the wall and I saw it. It was all sweaty handprints and stuff because I was I wasn't playing a gig right because obviously if you're playing a gig then guitar gets covered in manky and sweat I was just standing where I am just now talking rubbish drinking bucky and it really it got manky because I think I was sort of doing what I'm doing just now kind of talking and sort of not necessarily playing anything constructive just you know playing away while I was sort of talking and anyway so I'll get back to a guitar review tomorrow night and I'll be able to give this Thing back, I've had it for about two weeks and I've been putting it off just because ah, technology scared of it. Ah. But the positive goes back. I think if it's your thing, it might be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, just depends what it is you want to do. Just unfortunately, it's not really not what I want to do. I don't think. Um, but I, as I said, I, I was pure prejudice against it. I, I'm, I'm a Puritan, is that what you call it? But I like the idea of like, I'd. Oh, I like the idea. There's a very romantic ideal of what, 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 so what's your rig? And it's up here. Oh, it's a Telecaster with, you know, maybe a fuzz pedal or a rap pedal or something, and then a nice, you know, thirty watt tube amp, like a four by twelve or a three by twelve in my case, or that bit like that. Oh, it's it's real, man. You know, regardless of how good it sounds and how real it sounds, it's not real, is it? It's in a phone. How can Bluetooth be as good as a guitar as a curly lead? No, you can't have... No. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a bit hungover, so I was, I was gibbering quite a lot of rubbish there. Rock on. Catch you later.